We approach the big code and award show, and this is the pre-award show, so don't walk away because I have a very interesting guest for you. Um, in our show, the this year's winner will be announced. And I have a guest here on stage in some seconds who really knows how the finalists feel and how excited they are. It's the Code N 2014 winner, and I have so big problems. Pronounce his name in the right way, but I try it. Welcome, Odera. Ume is okay. <laughs> Welcome on stage <laughs> from Yuzi. <laughs> nice to have you here. Hello. So once again, what's the right pronunciation? It's Odera. Ume is okay, but that was very Ume's close. Okay. Yeah. I tried. Next yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. We talk later about it. We'll work it out. So you had a good trip from the really UK? Really good, yeah. Got here last night. Uh, flew into Hanover from London, where we are based. And just been walking around and really enjoying the show this afternoon and this morning. You saw RoboShop already? I saw RoboShop chopping up all the, uh, all the sculptures. It's uh, fantastic. I don't know where Clemens is, but uh, really good work. And the format this year that I've seen is quite different to last year. Last year, I think it was uh, everything was around the edges and this was not so open. Um, I've actually seen some really interesting Internet of Things startups, some which we could even potentially collaborate with. So I'm really liking it so far. So you like the whole 16 this year? The whole 16 is really, 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 really cool. I liked last year's theme. Mm -hmm. There was a data theme and there was a history of word mentions and books. I don't know if you saw it, but it was uh, really cool. But this one is also really, really good. I'm liking this Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So this year's topic is into the Internet of Things. Yes. You have an opinion is about the IoT? Well, yes, I do actually. So the way we see it is the world is moving towards a, it's a massive phase shift going from an assumption of objects being inanimate, being, addic being okay, and moving towards a time and a, and a place where we assume that the objects we interact with are going to be intelligent. And I think that's a fantastic place to move because what that means is we are automating data capture. Uh, we are also automating data generation. And with data, we can do so much more. The availability of information and data is one of the things that empowers us. But when it's not there, it holds us back from being able to make smarter decisions from everything from health and industry and education and so on. So I actually truly believe in the Internet of Things. And I think a lot of these companies here and a lot of the startups are doing a lot to really empower that, hit that future to become a reality. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they develop. A good cue, talking about our startups, about the finalists. Yes. What do you think? How excited are they right now? Um, well, Staking I can imagine, hands? yeah, I mean, I can imagine from our experience, last year we were sitting, we were standing somewhere over there where our stand was, and uh, we were trying to make our best impression. Everybody had the you you know, smiles on. <laughs> yeah, we, we, it worked. Um, and we were, of course, nervous because we went from being, if I'm brutally honest, not that aware about Coden, to being thrust in the middle of the limelight. And it seemed right in the middle of German industry, right in the middle of technology in Europe. And we had everyone from German ministers walking past to delegations from Hong Kong. I mean, of course, CBIT itself was opened by you know, uh, Chancellor Merkel and, and uh, David Cameron. So it really was a much bigger stage than we had imagined we were going to be on. So when we found ourselves here and eventually went from, I know, like a, a small company in yeah. London to being one of the final 453 selected, then final 50, we didn't expect to, to even come close to winning. Uh, our, some of our original thoughts were, well, we hope we can pay for the trip from the, <laughs> from the prize money. Let's be honest. Start it's very not, honest. <laughs> I like are not that. famous for having a lot of money. So we thought, well, you know, this 30K will be useful for paying for the tickets. Uh, but we didn't expect to win at all. So it was really uh, a pleasant surprise. And I hope some of the companies here also find a really good surprise from it. We will talk about money and the 30,000 euro you won later. Okay. First, uh, let's talk some seconds about what is your company doing, Viewsy? What is it? What are you doing in London? Okay. So the best way to think about Viewsy is if you look around the room like this, we are all, of course, people, but at the same time, we are all data. It's hard to think of yourself as data, but if you can move in that direction, Imagine yourself as data and what it would be possible to do if you could be actually quantified. If you could be quantified right here, right now, what would CodeM be able to do with the information? What would the exhibitors be able to do with the information? And you've given this data up passively and anonymously and securely, 
but in a way you've actually generated value and it's now, it's now uh, available to be, uh, to be worked with. That's what we do. We created a tool which is often relied, referred to as Google Analytics for the real world. And in that, we capture information about people moving around the physical space. We turn that into data. And we present that information back to our customers to do something with. And one example is how we work with retailers today. We work with uh, larger companies and smaller companies, companies like uh, Vodafone or ABN AMRO or even smaller ones like fashion stores. And they all use our technology to be able to measure how successful they are at pulling visitors off the high street into their stores. We employ sensors, so we put sensors into the stores. And our in the sensors, doors, yeah, into the doors. Yeah. So we actually uh, install a sensor in the door, so we can count the number of people before they walk into the shop. Those who then walk into the shop, and then we measure the behavior as they move around the shop. So what you then have is we've all of a sudden added intelligence to a retail shop, just like Google, and Intel Google Analytics adds intelligence to a website. It's uh, think of it as a bit like that tag which you install, the JavaScript tag into your website's header. That's what we do for the physical world. So our customers now use it for intelligence. Thanks for the overview. No problem. Um, do you remember how you felt last year when they announced your name? Oh, you wow. Think? Yeah, so I think I was probably the most shocked of everybody there. And my, rea <laughs> <laughs> my reaction was not... How was your face? <laughs> it was like, what? Huh? It was not, a, I, it was not a expected at all. So when it happened, I didn't know how to react. Uh, my co-founder at the time jumped on me. <laughs> so I had a man climbing on top of me here on this stage. And uh, I was just trying to think, oh, yes, uh, this, 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 is, this is, of course, not expected. What now? Oh, wow, there are cameras everywhere looking at us. <laughs> Better look at the cameras. Hi. <laughs> um, so it, it was not rehearsed in any way, but it was really great. Uh, we were very excited. We were very grateful. Uh, we were relieved. Um, it was a time for us as a company when uh, you were really making sure that you're hitting the milestones, and that really helped us progress further as well. So it was a big sense of relief, big sense of uh, just jubilation. It was fantastic. And you know what? I don't want to interrupt you. I don't want to be impolite, but yeah, yeah, yeah. we can have a look at this, your reaction. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> okay. I think we will see it right now. We have a small film. The highlight of the Code N approaches, the award show. 30,000 euros in prize money awaits the winner. We're very excited for the award show. Excited. A lot of expectation. The winner is Vusi. A startup from London won over the jury with its idea for researching customer behavior. Awesome, must be exciting. Maybe even better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, really good, actually. This is a new step for us. It's really exciting, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Congrats again. And so what happened afterwards? You had a good after-show party. Uh, we had a big party. I mean, the first thing I would say is it was, it was the team, um, the whole team behind ViewZ that made that uh, type of success possible. So the, even though not everybody was there with me, it was just the one uh, co-founder who was kissing me and jumping on me. Um, <laughs> we all did it together. And you know, that's the biggest thing as, as a startup. But sorry, you were saying. <laughs> but you didn't spend uh, all 30,000 euro this night. Uh, so what we you probably did. did. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was a free bar in here. Um, so we. I think the drinks are for free later. <laughs> Good. Um, we enjoyed that night. Uh, probably woke up the next morning with a hangover. Um, we but got with a big smile. Big smile, big hangover, um, <laughs> <laughs> equal size, um, and big check. It was as tall as this. Um, no, but it was very. It was actually really, really good. You know, from our from our point of view, for the experience we had, it was just good to have gone through it from uh, start to finish and have the team there at the end, and then actually see the business benefits that came of it at the end. So that was, I think, for us the biggest um, biggest surprise. We didn't anticipate what the after effects were going to be after winning What the were award. the after effects? So of course, um, there are numerous startup competitions and opportunities for exposure out there, and one. You know, one merges into another sometimes, but Coden really stood out for us. So when we took part in this, first of all, the size of the stage, we had no idea. We don't mean the physical stage, but the size of the, the exposure, the press, the profile yeah. of the event. 
um, when we did that, we had more traffic to our company than we'd ever seen before. That was our biggest path traffic day in the company's history, nice. just a massive spike. Secondly, we had uh, inquiries coming in from abroad, from places like Brazil, Taiwan, uh, partnership opportunities opening up in Malaysia, uh, Kazakhstan. So just it really opened up the international markets for us as a company. Those are some of the things that we found. Uh, after that, one of the biggest things is that we actually now then raised about a million and a half dollars in additional funding. So I think part of the credibility for Encodan really pushed that funding round over the line. They trust you. Yeah, exactly. So it helped uh, show that we're not going to disappear overnight with their money. Um, so the funding round was one of the big our outcomes. And another major thing was that the team actually tripled in size. So we went from being, I think it was about five people at the time to 15 now. Right. And that team is much larger and able to handle the type of attention that Codeine gave us then. So now we're able to actually take the partnerships and introductions we had then and to do something useful with it. So you would suggest every small startup to take part in the Codeine contest? As long as you fit the category, of course. Uh, but I would say if you are looking for a really large platform to launch into Europe, if you're looking for a great way to be exposed to uh, the markets, it's actually probably the best one we've been to. So let's just talk about your aims, your goals in the future. Okay. What will come up the next year? Okay, so Vuzi now is uh, we're fully funded, we're grown in sales, we're currently grown at double digit percentage in growth every month. And for now, this year is around, about moving away from technology development and R&D, which was our past, and moving into scale in the company into Europe. So we're looking at partnerships. So anyone here who represents a large company that wants to buy views and sell to your customers, come and say hi. <laughs> um, we're also looking uh, You can customers. meet him at the after show party. <laughs> yes, I'll be here. Uh, we're also looking for customers, of course. So we're, working, we're focusing right now a lot on retailers. So again, similarly, we're just focusing on growth at the moment. One thing that happened to us last year that disrupted us was actually Apple made a release uh, that affected the iOS uh, system. And what it did was actually, it made a change that complicated our software and combated some of our functionality. So actually, it put the whole entire company at risk. So this time last year, uh, call it June, July actually last year, it was uh, a time where we were really not sure, after all this good news, if we were going to be able to continue. Thankfully, we found a way around the problem and we re-released and redeveloped our software. So that's another major mm -hmm. thing, change that we've made. Thanks a lot. That's it, <laughs> yeah. Odera. Time is nearly over. I have to okay. hurry up a little bit. Thanks okay. for being here. I hope you stay here for the award show, for the after show party. Yeah. Great. I definitely will. And thanks uh, for sharing these emotional moments with us. No, thank you so much for uh, the platform, and thanks to everybody who played a part in it, the Codan team, the attendees, and the judges, of course, who voted for us, and everyone who's had uh, faith in the company so far. Thank you. Thanks for being here. A big thank applause. <laughs> Of course, we not only want him to celebrate with us, I want all of you to celebrate with us. Our big Codan Award show starts at 6.30 tonight. We had 400 applica applicants, <coughs> my tongue, <laughs> and we broke down to 50 Codan finalists, then to 10, and tonight we will crown the one champion, the winner of the Codan Award 2015, and we will have Music, we will have Hattler here. Florian König is also here. He has a percussion thing. I not really can imagine till now, but we will see this. So stay here. Our party starts at 6.30. Nice to have you here. Thanks a lot.